And um, uh, next, Brett, from uh, Paddlefly, and good talk. Right, right out of um, class, it was this time uh, a couple years ago, I got a call from um, our public information office saying, do you have any students who, you know, the economy is tough, who's not finding a job, who's starting their own company? And I called uh, Brett at about 7.30 at night to confirm that he didn't have a full-time job, and the next morning he was on um, Fox 5 Business News. Business News, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, I started out, my father runs his own company, um, so starting and running my own company was something I always wanted to do. I didn't want to take over my father's business, I wanted to start my own business. Um, I, I went to Syracuse University, I got a degree in aerospace engineering, and then came here, I mean very similar to, to Matt, and me and Matt were actually in the same class, one of the same classes with Bruce, so we ended up in the same place. Um, I came to Pace to get an MBA in investment management and to go get a job on Wall Street. Um, in between the first and second year here, two of my friends from Syracuse who lived in New York, one was in publishing, the other is a fabulous uh, designer. They came to me with this idea of Panelfly. At the time, it was a digital comic book. Uh, where you could purchase and sell comics on your phone. Applications were you know, all the rage a couple of years ago. Um, and I, I took a flight with them out to San Francisco. We met a couple of developers. You know, they were very enthusiastic about what they thought that they could do. They did a lot of research on the market, <coughs> what was going on in the current industry, what was going on abroad. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do this with two of my best friends and give it a shot. I still have a year of uh, graduate school to go, so, you know, on my spare time, I'll start a business. Um, while I was in graduate school, I started working on it. I did presentations for my actual company with Bruce, with uh, Professor Byrne, if he's still here. Um, and it, the reason I took the class was because I wanted to learn about entrepreneurship. I started the company in October. My first entrepreneurship class was in January. Um, so I figured why not take an entrepreneurship class. What I didn't know is that the class really wasn't going to teach me as much as you need to know. Um, so I, when I graduated, I kept going at it. We went out and we raised some money from family and friends. Um, recently we raised, we raised a little bit more money, slowly but surely. We've grown from three guys working out of our bedrooms to three guys working in a, you know, a, a six by six cell to now we have 15 people working for us. Um, so it's very exciting, there's ups, there's downs, you hire people, you fire people. Um, I'm going through the same thing that many of our presenters are going through today. We're trying to raise money. I was working on my deck yesterday. I'm working on my financial model this morning. Um, so, you know, my advice to you guys is just keep chugging at it, just keep going at it. You're going to hear no a thousand times. You just need to hear yes once. That will be enough to get you going and get your company going and get the people that you, uh, your consumers going. And I think really the most important thing is just having a passion for whatever it is that you're doing. Um, if you look at Matt, all he wanted to do, he has a passion about energy. He started his energy company. As long as you're passionate about it, you'll be successful. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. And